yesterday something happened which really kind of prompted me to want to make this video i upon waking up i saw this message just you know i saw all my messages and there was this guy who had sent me this message uh, rather slightly lengthy but he just wanted the answer a simple one line answer nothing great just like a one line like you would say yes or no or yeah go ahead due to the fact that i keep my interactions with my clients confidential a lot reveal what he asked but the guy was very rich very very rich i checked his profile his profile this shot had him standing next to rolls royce posing so obviously as curious i checked his uh, name and he had his profile bio there i found out he is a very well to do businessman earning good money and uh, forget rolls royce he has multiple rolls royce <laughs> very rich guy very very rich successful and whatever i don't know him personally but so he had mentioned in this that uh, like fan of my work and he sees my videos he may not agree 100% with most of the things i say but he always enjoys viewing them so he just asked me a simple question now i normally give priority to my clients that's why my focus is on first anyone who has money focus on them first so he must have got the read receipt you know the two blue two blue marks that you get in whatsapp but i didn't respond because obviously i'm more interested about who is willing to pay me because money talks i think he must have seen that and he saw i didn't respond then after some time came another message as i was checking all the other what some messages lying on the bed and that's why he put i know you work for money and uh, just to as a matter of courtesy i'll um i will send you 5 dollars for your effort <laughs> so he's saying i'll buy you a cup of coffee okay so the the 5 dollar like i'll buy you coffee my must have the idea must have come from my website because before when i used to write articles i had the option if you enjoy this article buy me a cup of coffee so it's 5 dollars or you can tip more if you enjoy the article that i've written some people when they read an article and they feel there is value they offer you something so i saw that you know i was still lying down i was like what the fuck is this the guy is filthy rich and he wants to give me a 5 dollar tip you know just imagine you you as a successful guy someone saying here take 5 dollars as a tip um unless you're a street performer you're not going to take it out you're not going to oh thank you sir you know like maybe if you're a waiter you get 5 dirhams 10 dirhams or whatever you take the tip but if you're a professional you'll be like are you fucking kidding me <laughs> so i had multiple thoughts in my head like should i just ignore this message delete it tell him ba fuck off like bugger off uh, not that rude or something but you know these thoughts came in my head and uh i was wondering how to respond to this but what i tend to do is when i don't know what to say i don't say anything i wait until i know this is the right thing to say so what i did is i went for my run like my morning run i drank my coffee i came back sat in my room and once again the day started so then i saw his message again and i asked myself okay how should i respond because what i do is i close all the whatsapp messages i don't store any i get thousands of them whatsapp emails all that i delete clear so as i was looking there i was like okay how will i respond to him and i gave a proper reply which i think i'm glad so what was the reply i'll tell you but first let me give you another two more examples i got this one young man from india student huh? who is right now he is my friend this young boy 
I didn't know he was a young boy at that time. This young boy, uh, uh, I'll tell you his name. His name is Alex. Okay. It's Alex from Kerala. He, one day, he just, out of the blue, sent me three dollars, few cents. So I was like, who is this and why is he sending me three dollars? So I had no idea. Okay. Because normally people who pay me generally are my clients. Immediately I respond to them and I ask them, how may I help you or whatever. So when I received this three dollars, I asked this gentleman, I didn't know he's a young man, old man. Uh, I assumed he was a guy because his name was obviously registered as Alex. So I asked him, uh, hi Alex, I've received three dollars and few cents. Can you please tell me what is it for? So he said, I just want to show you my appreciation for your work. So obviously I took interest uh, just to curious, who are you? And he told me he's a student. So I was like, oh, okay. Imagine I'm 42, he's a student, maybe 17, 18. And he's sending me $3 of his pocket money to appreciate my work. Okay, this was uh, another one. Now, you know, I'm sure your thought would be, how can you take money from a small boy, from a young man? How can you take money from him? I'll come to that. And last but not the least, I got this lady from Europe. Uh, she's slightly older. She's in her 70s. I don't know how she has access to the internet and all that. And uh, she sees my videos. She sees my videos. She's not interested in the Dubai videos or anything like that. But she likes watching uh, the videos of my baby and my wife and Thailand in general. And uh, she had sent me uh, just hardly, I think, a few dollars. Can't remember the exact amount, but it was a few dollars that she sent me. And uh, she she put a beautiful note. She said, uh, gay young man, uh, I don't have much money to send you, but I want to support your work. And this is not for you, but this is for your baby. And, you know, please buy her something. Okay. Now, I've given you three examples. One is of a businessman who is a, most probably a multimillionaire, a young student, and an old lady, okay? In all three cases, they gave me a little bit of money. Now, let's imagine this. You are a professional who is earning money, let's say $10,000, $15,000 a month. And someone comes in front of you waving, you know, $1 or $5 and gives you as a tip. For a person who is earning like ten to $15,000 a month, you give him a $1 tip. What do you think his reaction is going to be? Most probably, you say, excuse me, what is this? And they would just, you know, give you back or throw it back. I remember when I was a small boy in school, I once asked uh, one big uh, senior guy, one dirham, because I wanted to buy something. He gave me one dirham. I dutifully returned it after like two, three days. I went to him, I found him. He was a Sardar guy. He, says, he, he said, you give me the one dirham. He took the one dirham. He said, sorry? He said, you give me the one dirham that day I took. So he just threw it up in the air and walked off. Because I think he felt disrespected. Uh, or maybe he didn't know how to react. But uh, okay, he threw the mandra mai, went, grabbed it, I took it, walked off. Now, as an employee, when you have an employee mindset, when you know that you're going to earn a salary, lump sum salary, end of the month, you don't appreciate, or you wouldn't like someone giving you small, small bits, okay? You evaluate your worth, as that lump sum every month. However, if someone starts paying you this small, small bits, you would feel really odd. And that is what most of the people go through. I've always had an employee mindset from before. I always wanted the big gigs, the big cash. However, after transitioning to being a guy who earns online, I had to change my mindset where 
from earning per month i had to ask per project so obviously i was asking a bit more but as uh, i transition from being a guy who do large projects you can't every time get a large project i used to accept small projects and from there it moved into this new style of earning where you charge people per hour now i used to charge people when i started off my career at 5 dollars 10 dollars okay because i didn't know what to charge today obviously i charge 167 dollars that my that's my standard okay per hour but you do not know the value of this small money until you go through tough times today the only reason i accept these small you know 1 dollar 5 dollar i'm sure it's in your head like why it doesn't justify you taking money from small children i'll give you something that will really make you think let's say you issue a check of a million because you have a million but it's 1 dollar short do you think the bank will accept it let's say you're paying your electricity and water bill your few pennies short let's say you're paying your credit card you have 5000 and 10 cents to pay and you pay $5000 guess what is going to happen the bank okay the places where you have to pay your expense they will reject it because you have to pay the full amount if you're paying a credit card they will take it and you'll assume that you close the account or you paid everything but you will be charged for those few cents based on the principal amount that is why people get shocked when they find out that they paid the whole amount but now after 10 years they have interest accrued up to you know tens of thousands of dollars i i have just realized lately the value of these pennies only when i started putting this piggy bank you know piggy bank for my baby we put these coins that's where i started realizing the value of money uh i'll tell you this make a piggy bank make a piggy bank and a small little coin box just put your change your 1 dollar or 1 cent or few cents whatever put it until it becomes full when it becomes full open it and count how much money you have made there you'll be amazed and surprised to see you'd have made up to a thousand i have multiple uh, piggy banks or money boxes in the house multiple big ones small ones whatever and the job is to keep putting coins or notes or whatever when we open it when it's full to our shock and surprise it's always above a thousand Uh, how do you think i was able to save up for the imac so you do not realize the value of these small drops of uh, currency or whatever until you save up enough see today uh, why i accepted that guys that 5 dollar i get told that guy fine send the 5 dollar send me a screenshot that you send it i'll give you the answer you need to know send it immediately i gave him the answer he was happy he said thanks i need it to hear an outside opinion when that uh, young boy from india he sent me the money i accepted it i didn't say no i didn't say you're a young boy cancel no but i gave him something of greater value which is between me and him uh, and he has been my friend till now he has been my friend the uh, that old lady she sent something for my baby girl okay it was enough to buy maybe a small meal and there's nothing of value i could give her other than just send her a video of my baby saying thank you you know with whatever my baby could have said you will not realize the value of these pennies and yes many people do ask me like oh you're so fucking rich you're supposed to be rich or whatever and you're still asking for 1 dollar 5 dollar 10 dollar donations or whatever why do you think a prager university the guy who is so rich is a millionaire he asks for tax deductible donations why do you think uh, institutions and all that they ask anything how do you think these beggars who are begging and they find out that they have millions in the bank okay not all but 
majority of them it's because these small pennies now that you don't give any value when you save it makes a lot of difference and this was a massive paradigm shift i needed to have after i moved into from charging for projects to charging for work to charging per hour to finding creative ways how i can earn even for one minute of work see just uh, I'll, i'll tell you this try this whatever is your salary that you're earning per month okay divide it by okay not 30 days divided by 36 days 26 days four days holiday okay four weeks in a month so whatever salary you're earning divide it by 26 after you divide it by 26 calculate the amount of time that you spend for work now you might generally work 8 hours but nobody works 8 hours people work 10 hours 12 hours plus factor in the time that takes for traffic to travel back and forth to work and uh, you know the time taken to dress up and all that be ready because obviously you're doing this for work okay so if you calculate all this 8 hours 10 hours plus 2 hours traffic generally it's 4 hours or 3 hours whatever so 10 hours say 12 hours plus uh, another 2 hours so 14 hours let's assume roughly 14 hours a day okay so divide whatever the amount divided by 26 divided by 14 and there you'll get what you get paid per hour and that is where you realize okay this is how much i get paid per hour then divide that further into how much you get paid per minute that is your value per minute right now so when you look at it that way your perspective towards money will change so even if you want a salary increment you need to increase what you get per minute or per hour that's the only way you're going to understand the value for me today when anyone says he'll give me 1 dollar even 1 dollar i stay in a fucking forest i know for a fact this 1 dollar is maybe nothing fine i can maybe buy a packet of rice small packet of rice but if i save this and i get another 100 clients maybe i can buy something worthwhile a one year subscription let's say can pay off uh you know a software renewal and if i get a thousand people maybe i can save this amount for let's say an upgrade on my imac so i know it will not make sense to you because you're earning a salary per month but the day you start losing your value the day you face unemployment the day you go through financial difficulties the day you go through financial difficulties you'll really start to value the uh these pennies why do you think many people bargain for you know when they go shopping for vegetables or fish they bargain with these 1 dollar 5 dollar okay some people do it because they are misers or spend thrift or whatever <sighs> but the person who is selling that one the few dollars or few pennies when he accumulates that over the period of selling let's say 100 kilos it feeds his family so the point of this whole conversation is to let you know that you know money does have value fine if you're rich if you're earning a big salary you don't really care a fuck about it for it doesn't matter because you have excess but for but for normal people no like you and me normal people i don't know if you're normal okay agreed i don't look very normal but for average earners we have to save every penny we have to value every dollar so that is why if anyone says i'll give 1 dollar 5 dollar i'm not ashamed about it and sometimes yes i do get pissed off that okay this guy only wants to give me 1 dollar 5 dollar for this one he is so filthy rich he has enough and more money but he is still uh, like you know that guy was with his rolls royce 
he's so fi fucking filthy rich. But then I have to remind myself, this is his money, it's not mine. I have no one to ask, even if he's a billionaire, it is his. I have no right. Like, you know, when Jeff Bezos donated, uh, I think, $600,000, people are like, oh, you're a billionaire, you should have donated a billion. No, fuck you, it's his money, he can give how much he wants. So I, was, I had to remind myself that this is not my money, this is his. And all customers are equal. Whether they, give, whether they have a Rolls Royce or whether they are poor, they want my service, they're giving me what they can. Yes, it's a different story if the guy booked the session and he's asking for a discount and he's filthy rich. And he's saying, I don't have money, uh, fuck you. That's a different topic altogether. But otherwise, when someone donates or gives or says, I'll give one dollar, five dollar, whatever. You take it because you realize you, you know, you need the money to save. You're not going to get guaranteed income per month. So yeah, these were my thoughts with regards to this. Um, I don't know if it makes you understand why I take money, even if it's such small amounts. But if you do understand, good. If you don't, I guess uh, you'll only realize this when, when you maybe go through some fin financial problems, difficulties or challenges in life. Or like they say, when you issue a check and you're a few pennies short, <laughs> that's where when they reject, try doing this. Go, go to a supermarket, go to a place, tell them you're a few pennies short, see if they accept it. Maybe if the person's kind, he'll pay from his pocket. But generally, if there's an automated system, it will reject your amount and say, please pay the full amount or greater and we'll give the change back. These are the lessons of money, financial lessons I wish to te teach my child so that tomorrow when my child grows up, whether $1, $5, anything, my child is selling a service or product, she will appreciate the value. That's maybe why I, even when I deal with customers, I make it very clear. You pay the service charges, the transfer charges, bank charges, whatever. One dollar also, I'm not going to, you know, no discount. Sorry. That's my rate. If you want a discount, I'll discount even my services to you. Then we are talking. Then it's fair. Otherwise, no thanks. So let me know your thoughts, guys. Let me know what you have to say. Uh, do you agree with my style? Or do you not agree? Do you think it's acceptable, not acceptable? Love to know your thoughts. Oh, one more thing. This is just so that you know. To give you an idea how important these pennies are, whenever I renew my softwares or subscriptions, because of my uh, payments, uh, I pay in advance and I pay in time. All of them to retain me, they give me discounts. 10%, 30%, 50%. They give me straight off discounts. Why? Because they know that these, even the small little discount will get you another customer. Because smart people value even a small penny. Anyway, these are my thoughts. Let me know yours. It's me signing off. Take care.